Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. Today we're going to be combining resin casting and 3D printing. So we're going to be embedding 3D printed objects in resin. Let's get started. All right, guys, so combining resin casting with 3D printing. And uh, obviously on the surface, that just sounds cool. I've done a couple of experiments. Uh, I've cast 3D printed Legos, which turned out great, but that's not a whole lot different than just Dunkin' Junk. I could have used regular Legos. There's really nothing special about the 3D printing necessarily. It's just a way to get materials. Where this is actually really beneficial is the problem with resin casting is you can add a bunch of different colors in resin, but it's a liquid and you know, you can't manipulate the liquid into very specific patterns. And I was thinking a couple years ago, I wanted to make a Yankees pinstripe pen blank. That was an idea that I had, and there's really no good way to do that with just resin. So I was at that time watching a couple of videos that Punish Props was doing of 3D printing. And I thought, you know, if you embedded a 3D printed object in resin, and so you could cast the liquid resin around and it'll fill in all those little gaps, you got yourself a very specific pattern, which you could do anything with the 3D printer and create you know, whatever patterns you want, then add resin in it and in a turning blank, that could be pretty awesome. Now this actually, this idea actually covers a broad range of things. You don't necessarily need to just do turning blanks. You can embed, you know, objects in a clear resin. You can, there's, there's a million ideas of where this could go when I started thinking about it. So pretty much the possibilities are endless. All right, so the first step is you need to have a model. Uh, you know, whatever you want to be casting, embedding in the resin, you need to have a model of it made. And there's two ways to get a model that you can send to the 3D printer. You can either model it yourself in 3D modeling software like Fusion 360 or 123D Design, or you can find a model out there on the, the internet. Uh, there's the Thingiverse and there's a couple other different, you know, basically kind of marketplaces in a sense where people have modeled things, put them up there and you can download them for free and then print them out. In general, you usually need to just attribute, you know, whoever made that, you know, give them credit for the design, uh, especially if you're going to be, you know, kind of sharing it, it's good to give them a little bit of a plug, but basically free designs that you can download and print on your printer. Now, once you have your 3D model, it's just a matter of printing it out. Now, you don't even have to actually have your own 3D printer to do this either. Now, obviously it's, just, it's easy if you have your own 3D printer, then you just hit print. But if you don't have one, you can actually, on those marketplaces where you, you can find the, the different models, uh, those people will generally print that model for you for a price and send it to you. Now, if you have your own model and you don't have a 3D printer, you can also probably ask those people or anybody else that has a 3D printer to print it out for you and, you know, do a little bit of kind of a collaboration or pay somebody that has the, the equipment you need until you get a 3D printer or if you just have a couple things to do, there's probably no reason to buy a 3D printer when you can just have somebody print it out for you. So let's fire up my 3D printer and we will time lapse this thing being created. It's a pretty cool process. All right, so we're all ready to get casting now. We got our supplies. I got my three quarter inch PVC pipe. It's clear and I also have a, a silicone plug. Pop that in the bottom and put it in a little holder that I made. We have our 3D print and we have our resin ready to rock. Now this is Alumalite clear and I've added some white dye to it. So we're ready to pour basically. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pour the resin in first into the tube. Then I'm gonna let this sink down into the resin. That will help eliminate air from getting trapped in there. So let's get to it.
All right, so time to pop it in the pressure pot. All right, guys, we got our blank ready. It is fully cured and ready to turn. So we're gonna turn it up on the lathe, make a pen out of it. I'm excited. So this is the fun part where you get to start, you know, shaping it and seeing the pattern emerge from your 3D print and the resin mixture. Now, I do wanna mention, I am gonna be selling these blanks and I'm gonna put a video together and it's mainly for you know the people that want to buy these blanks it's going to be how to get the best results to make sure that you minimize blowouts and all that stuff i've turned many tests of these and i've had good results and so i have a couple of little you know tricks and tips and tricks and things like that that i kind of do and, and just ways that i handle uh, acrylic blanks and especially mixed material blanks i've done quite a few of those i've turned lots of different random materials and resin and I've learned a few tricks along the road that I can pass on with, to you guys to make sure that you get good results. So uh, I'll link to that video. I'll also have a link to where you can get these on my website. They are available, but we'll have that video too for anybody that wants to buy them. The other thing is that video is going to be a good thing for anybody that wants to do mixed material casting and turning. Um, it'll show you, it really doesn't matter if it's a pinstripe 3D you know, pen blank or, or whatever mixed materials kind of are all the same and you know it's two different things being glued together like i said so it'll apply to pretty much anything mixed material like this so uh with that all said let's get to the turning let's make a pen Well guys, I thought the possibilities were infinite with just resin casting. With 3D printing and resin casting, I'm pretty sure there's nothing you can't do. So I'm pretty happy with how these pinstripe blanks came out. The Yankee pinstripes are available now. Uh, head over to my website, nvwoodworks.com if you wanna pick some up. There'll be a link on the screen here and down in the description below, straight to the, the listing on my website and my pen blank store. So I hope that this uh, sparks some creative ideas for you guys. You know, you don't need to just make turning blanks. You could do jewelry designs with this. You could make props, all kinds of different stuff. I mean, pretty much again, possibilities are endless. So I hope to see what you guys come up with merging some 3D printing and resin casting. So if you're new to the channel, we do all kinds of resin casting stuff around here. Projects, tips and tricks, and uh, pretty much experiments, a lot of that too. So if you're interested in that, learning more about resin casting, seeing, seeing some cool projects, definitely hit the subscribe button so you get notified when new videos get posted. So until next time guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.